promo event for Adidas. Let's read this. So it says, their promo tour is rolling through the city and they've asked if you'd like to participate in some friendly boxing matches over the weekend. Show up, put some... Put on some novelty, oversized gloves, jump around, an inflatable ring, and you're done. Yeah, let's go right ahead and accept that. You know, I don't think I should be doing all of this stuff while trying to upgrade my fighter, but eh, what the heck. What the heck, if it's going to help my popularity and help me gain fans, then why not? Oh, come on, man. Like, I don't want to be fighting these short fighters. I really do not. This is the light heavyweight division. Like, why are we still seeing... Five eight fighters in there. Like, where are the six foot, six foot two opponents? I'm sick of this. All right, let's go ahead and fight them. Let's do it. Damn, everything's pretty much upgraded at this point. Um, let's take the training camp to Detroit. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and train, and once we get into the fight, as always, I'll be right back with you. Good evening, everybody, and I welcome you to Wednesday Night Fights. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Welcome to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for tonight's main event. Six rounds among light heavyweights. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. All right, here we go. Here we go. Round number one, scheduled for six. The greatest, best asset, his power punching, his ability to get rid of a guy. The majority of his wins throughout his career, Teddy, have been by knockout. Yeah, and that power might be the bullet, but the gun that delivers that bullet. His ability to get close to a guy, stunt one hand, faint you a little bit, and then he shoots the other one. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. This is actually realistic. This opponent. Silva's he's... advantage is in the speed category. He's a mover. He's an elusive target. Well, his opponent has one advantage. One thing that can take that speed away, that is timing. We better understand that. Yeah, this dude is realistic. Like, he's on the shorter side of things. But if you look at his body type, he's chunky. Kind of like a Daniel Cormier style opponent in the nice light heavyweight division. Harvey. Harvey smashed by an uppercut. I like it. All right, just keeping things simple here. He's blocking really well. Right there with the string. Protecting his oh man! I'm right done. Oh, and wow. He goes down from a big wow. right hand. One, two. That straight counter was Silva nasty, dude. On his feet. What the what fuck? What will he look like in the next few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Oh, what a big hook to the head by the greatest. Facing the short opponents is like... They are a pain in the ass, dude. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Okay. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. There we go. His head. He and won the first. Why he was dropped. Let's switch dances a little bit. Goes up top with a right hand. The greatest is coming out here after being knocked down I, I do in the last round. Teddy, what are some a lot of things better you look for that will tell you against the shorter guys round, that he looks fine? Well, the first thing I look Not for in South Pole. is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see, and you want to make sure that that basement is solid. There's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little when there's a wind. You're looking at his legs. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. Harvey's right in the way of that hook to the head. Oh, that had a hurt. 
cut. And he's ripping up a cut. Big uppercut right on the mark. Yeah, it's a small opponent. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Drop. There we go. There we go. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think he's just going to walk in and get it again. Well, he walked in. He did get it. He got it. The greatest getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to fight this dude in Southpaw. I really don't. As he just ties up. Come on, kid, focus. I mean, this his straight right is is money, dude. Wow, is he defensively sound? Scores up top with a left. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that yeah, a certain man. mentality these guys that commit to being catching a body me puncher? Yeah, because they understand with a stray before I can block. Punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. And Come on, boy. Gotta start early this dude's going to get with. KO'd. The greatest in control of this fight, scoring the knockdown in that last round, now trying to carry some of that momentum through. Well, right now, he's, we're going to find out Back if he's to a South finisher. And promoters, fans, they love finishes. Networks, they love finishes. Right now, he has a chance to show that's what he is. Another flush shot to the head. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Trying to rip that uppercut, now man. Just wasting everybody's right. time holding on. You're still not moving enough. Nowhere close Ooh. that punch by Harvey. A well placed left hand up top. Okay, I'm switching again. Easier to see the shots coming. Harvey's jacked up by an uppercut. So accurate. Jab, uppercut combination. Yep. Ripping him right here. Harvey! Homeboy is just the sting of that big power moving ball. forward. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Harvey! Drop. Okay. And he crashes to the he's done. Once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? Let's see if he gets right back up. Honestly, he's fighting like he's supposed to. Staying real and tight. That's a, that's the only way he can win this fight. Harvey's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. All right. Time to play the Anderson Silva game. Stand against the ring. I think that's what we're gonna do next round. We're just gonna stand against the against the rope. Our first chance. Invite him in. Teddy's scorecard here is round number four is underway. Silva's in control so far. Two rounds to one. Still anybody's fight. I think he's been the busier guy though. Yeah, he has been the busier guy, and also he's been a better real estate agent. You know, location, location, location. He's been in the right position for his style. He's been in tight. That was a fine block by Silva. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look Come at on, that. Boy. Great work there. He digs Rip those in, to the body to right there. Body bam, shots bam. The combo. Silva's hand speed right now, the difference with what we right just hook. saw, able to land that combination. Left hook yeah, to the head. Probably going to need a little bit more down the road, but right now, that's got him in front. Caught him. Go the opposite way. Starting to lose stamina. Right to the belt line. Harvey's feeling the impact 
impact of that powerful hook. That was really well done. Targeting the jab and then thundering home with the uppercut. Well, he goes to the gut with a right hand. And now he's targeting Ooh, upstairs. Ooh, caught me right there. He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Silva. Dude, man, look at his his health. is like low as shit. Good right hand by Harvey. The greatest is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Come on. Let's go. That's a good sharp hook by the greatest. The greatest punch didn't come close. <laughs> Taunting him. And a strong offensive showcase. The combination by Harvey. Round is over. What oh, come on. I got to finish this dude. Good, 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 solid fight. He's got more stamina than I do because I'm throwing way more shots. Somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Silva. The greatest is... This dude has a better chin now. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're, they're starting to get better. To really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They're the ones that wind up landing. Okay, come here. That's a good hook by the greatest. And now you see him scoring well with the right. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Because oh, <laughs> what, what he's doing is Harvey's down. He's gotta beat the count. That punch was absolutely a stunner. And that came so wide. Let's go, that he get had up. No preparation for it. That's where an awkward shot pays. He's done. The ref he's done. Stops fight the is fight. over. The greatest is power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. There we go. There we go. What that dude was doing when I was against the ropes is he comes in, he throws, he throws, he throws. The second his health or stamina goes down, he backs up. So I wasn't able to finish him while standing with my back against the ropes like that. It's but late in the fight, we did it. it like Let's we move on. All righty. So it looks like we are moving up the Legacy Raiden's ladder. Listen up, kid. You've made a move on the Legacy ladder and have a new Legacy rank. Be sure to visit the Legacy Goals screen via Legacy Central to find out what your rank is and what your goals are. I see, look at that. We are now a club fighter. Went from amateur to prospect to club fighter. Let's get to contender. Let's get to champion. Man, I cannot wait to get to the heavyweight division. The heavyweight division right now is looking pretty good. If we go to the rankings, weight class rankings, I mean, look at who the champions are now. In the light heavyweight division, we've got this character I created. Uh, uh, fucking Chad Dawson is a champion. Clement Medina, whoever the hell that is. Roy Jones is number one. Joe Kawasaki. There's just not a lot of real fighters to compete with. Uh, ooh, look. Looks like that's a, a Mayweather brother. <laughs> Rainer Mayweather. Not a lot of boxers to compete with, but look at the heavyweight division. The heavyweight division is stacked. We've got Joe Lewis as a champion, Mike Tyson as a champion, Muhammad Ali as a champion, Evander Holyfield, you know, at the top number one. We've got uh, Vit Vitaly Klitschko, Floyd Patterson, David Hayes, Sonny Liston, Joe Frazier. The top ten are still, you know, real fighters. So I can't, I can't wait to get to the heavyweight division. I can't wait to run into George Foreman. <laughs> Who's a fucking monster. And he's absolutely huge against my Addison Silva. So, can't wait to get to champion. Defend that belt a few times. Move up to heavyweight and start doing start doing work in the heavyweight division. But, in the meantime, let's go ahead and schedule a fight. Let's see who we are facing next. There we go. Finally, we're facing someone that's not 5'2". Alright, let's compare. Let's compare the fighters. 80, my rating is 87. His is at 77. Um, he's got he's got more fights than I do. 22 fights. Uh, he's won 15 of those. I've won five. Five and no. Um, let me take a look at. 
skills. Okay, so his jab, he's got a good jab, better jab than I do. My straight is better. His right hook, left hook, left uppercut, right uppercut, jab to the body, are all better. Okay. My combinations were about the same. Blocking is good, about the same. Head movement is way better. He's got better heart, he's got better chin. His chin's pretty good compared to mine. Okay, let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm gonna accept the fight. I'm gonna book the fight. I'm gonna train. And uh, once we are done training, I will be right back with you guys with the fight. See ya. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the Metro Manila Arena here in the Philippines for our main event. Ten rounds, light heavyweights. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Here we go. Here we go. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that Next fight. Fight. round one underway. The greatest is resume reads Woo. with a lot of knockout wins highlighted upon it. Is it the level of Damn, competition? Damn, that dude is ripping is punches. Good of a puncher? You know, that's the right question, Joe. Look it's at a that uppercut. Both. He, you know, he hasn't exactly been in there with Godzilla, but he has power. If he gets to you, he gets rid of you. Woo. Look at him. Silva's ability to punch, to flat out put forth power, puts people in the seats. Early on, that's what they expect to see here. And early on, sometimes too much of a good thing, guess what? It can be dangerous, it can backfire. If he lands a punch and it doesn't get rid of the guy, well, what else can he do? What happens then? Nice block by Silva. Homeboy's got power. But he is, he's just sloppy as hell. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Ooh, that was real headshot. sloppy right there. Caught me with the uppercut. Not able to land the headshot. Targeting that overhand left. That's right, he's got a good chin. At least a chin that's better than mine. I'm just glad that we're about the same height. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Harvard, a lot more fun. Hurt. He's hurt. Oh, Bam. Dropped him right there. Him. On his back. Get up, boy. Dude is big, too. Tarver's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what oh, not to do. On. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Philly Get show. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is on. grab on the inside, clear your head. He is dead. <laughs> hurt him again. Floor. And the round comes Hurt him again. End. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. Knockdown in that round now teddy if you're in the corner dealing with that southpaw left straight man floor, what are you telling him well the first thing that i do is i sit him down i get water on the back of his neck you know i bring him to a sense that left sure straight that and, and the check hook and then i tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas right. so he can correct it and he doesn't go out there and get Ooh. caught again with the same point dude careful man careful and now we got a fight he fires back a right hand of his own the greatest Again. left now getting into the mix. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, with the asked, right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Oh, that's a smart fighter. Again. Rocked by that punch. Solid. Dropped. And he goes yeah, picking my shots right there. Again. Usually I start on loading, but... Take my shots right there. That right hook. Bam. Let's see if he gets up. One, two, three, 
Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Oh, no. The fight is over. He couldn't do it. And he can't get he up. could not do Unable it. Unable to beat the count. Got him out of there in round one. No, but no, no, that, that's round two, I believe so. Yeah, we got him out of there in a second round. These guys can't last. I don't think a single fight has gone the distance yet. I believe I have finished every single fight. That's incredible, man. I never saw that. Great, and uh, right there, you see why I should probably look at the goals for the fight. I am. I was supposed to knock down the opponent three times and I was supposed to inflict enough damage to cause a cut on the opponent. For this one, it wasn't about how quickly I finished, but yeah, uh, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. I finished the fight fast, that's all I care about. Let's move on. Alrighty, how many wins is that? You are hot in the ring right now. Nobody can touch you, but Jason Baker wants to find that out the hard way. You wanna put this clown to the mat or what? Let's do it, let's do it, let's, can I? Yeah, let's compare the opponents. 6-1, that's good. That works for me. Let's take a look at his... Hold on. What? What is this? Alright, let's take a look at his uh, his skills. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The only shot so far that I have better is a straight to the head. Everything else he is pretty much better than me at. So I'm guessing, yeah, that's where I have him beat right there with the with the likes with the with my athletic abilities, I am stronger, faster, have more conditioning, I'm tougher, better reflexes. That works for me. Um yeah, why not? Let's schedule the fight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this dude. I'm gonna beat him to a pulp. In the meantime, I'm gonna go to Puerto Rico. Let's go to Puerto Rico and upgrade my fighter. Uh, I do want to make sure I'm upgrading my s speed, though. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep it to Detroit. The important things to me is speed, power, reflexes. The conditioning and the stamina stuff doesn't really come into question because I really don't gas and fight. So, um, I've got about 3,680 XP. I'm going to upgrade the boxer before I actually jump into the next fight. But as always, I'm going to go ahead and train. Once the training is done and we jump into the next fight, I will be right back with you guys. Everybody, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for a much anticipated main event. Ten rounds in a light heavyweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. dressing room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. Next one. Opening round scheduled for 10. Woo. The excitement boy is in the ripping shots. Is palpable, and the fans have good reason to be. Silva's won every that dude. single one of his fights by knockout. Yeah, and I think the anticipation in the air is twofold. One is, are they going to see another knockout? The other is, what happens if he hits his opponent and he's still there? Able to block yep. that away. It was targeted. Every win hand. by KO. And this will not be any different. When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw like we see here tonight, Teddy, that right jab is right up against his jab. That's absolutely right. And you know what? That's a great point because there lies maybe the greatest advantage for the southpaw because now the orthodox fighter doesn't feel comfortable using his jab. It doesn't land. It doesn't have the clearance that it usually has. And therefore, he doesn't use it, and he hurts himself. Flush shot. It was the overhand left. 
Solid hook upstairs. Already getting touched. He's already getting touched up. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. I'm gonna make sure I'm always at the right distance with these shots. Get full extension on them. Let's let's box the living snot out of this dude. Got him. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Damn, missing. Last 10 seconds of this first fuck? round. That left caught, hand caught him with that one, but I missed. With it. Missing shots I shouldn't be missing here. To land more of these punches. It's okay to throw punches, but not if they're just drifting off to space. Absolutely, and space is it. He's in space. He's too far away. He has to get the right range. Good block. Damn. Missed the body shot. Scored well with that right hand to the body. There we go. And yet another big Woo! Comes in. Oh, he goes down hard. Man, that was beautiful. Plenty of time for his opponent to jump on him. Caught him as he was going for an overhand. Look at that. There we go. Drop that dude. It's gonna be an, it's gonna be another KO. Getting back up off the canvas. Gets rid of that body shot. Nothing there on the punch by Baker. Patient. Good solid overhand left. Yes, patient. I'm not gonna rush this one. Halfway through round number two. Don't boo me, motherfuckers. Scored well with that straight left. Good flush shot upstairs. Committing to the head work, you see him go there again. Gets rid of that, it was intended for his head. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. You see how he comes over the top with that left hand. Well placed shot there. Baker's tagged by a tremendous yeah. power punch. Most of the power shots are coming from my left. Nice solid left hand scored by Silva. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. Ten seconds to go in this round. Can't touch me. You cannot two. touch me. Baker's corner has to come up with a game plan now. Cannot they touch to me, Baker. Their fighter. They have no chance. As to how he can get away of that good old-fashioned one-two. No, what they have to do is tell their fighter that hey, it's not against the law to move your head. Whew, beautiful. My head movement has improved too. I can pull back Piercing faster now when I miss Silva. these shots. The greatest is easily winning this fight just based on his hand and foot speed. He's getting in and out with ease. And what his opponent needs to do is control range so he gets it down to where his opponent is shadow boxing. Yeah, he's got fast hands, but it doesn't matter if you're not standing in front of him to use him. Right now, he's standing in the wrong place. Oh my god. He's done it before, but can he get Damn. up for the second time down? Drop him. Get up, Baker. Get up. You can do it. You can do it. You got this. He's up. Taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Halfway through this round. I just can't touch me, dude. He's trying, but he just can't hit me. Elusive Anderson Silva. 
Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the greatest. <laughs> Baker's punches are way off the oh, mark. Oh, man. He's been committed to throwing plenty of them. He just hasn't been committed to hitting plenty of the target. No, and it's not like his Lex, opponent suddenly Lex, became the invisible time. man. I mean, he's right there in front of him. It's just that he's tired, and these punches are coming from left field, and guess what? They're not getting Come to on, the Baker. Plate. Unable to score with the hook. Ten seconds Going on, to Baker. go in this third round. Can't land. You can't hit me. Good solid Ouch. Right hand by that Baker. hurt. <laughs> and the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. That hurt. Oh, shit. His stamina is kind of coming up. As long as he has high stamina, he's going to be able to do damage. So. Very good early on. Oh, my God. Well, he's been. To keep going on that floor. It's you been a 10 8 round no every single round. And stop this. Look at him. Look at this. Dude, he's dead. Oh my god. <laughs> it's over. The fight is over. <laughs> Silva's bombs away worked again. Knockout victory for him. Man, dude, the way Anderson KOs these guys, I mean, it's a different kind of power. They just fall and just stay down. They don't get up. Every fight has, every win has been by KO. Every win. Well, would you look at that? Looks like someone's getting the attention he absolutely deserves. The champion is inviting me to spar. Let's see. Clement Medina was so impressed with your crushing win over Jason Baker that he's invited you to spar with him. A couple more rungs up on this ladder and soon it'll be you giving up and comers a shot like this. Let's do it. Absolutely. Let's go right ahead and do it. You know, I might I might even disrespect the champ and not show up. Just just to see what happens. We'll see. Next up, Nike wants to sponsor you. Take a look at this offer and wear some gear. It's ain't a great. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Nike wants to sponsor me. Replace an injured fighter. Who am I replacing? Julius Murray got hurt during his training camp for his upcoming fight against Baldwin Darrell. You want to step in? You won't get a lot of training time, but there's a big cash bonus. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm already training with the champion. I don't want to spend any more time away from my usual routine. So let's go ahead and schedule a fight, see who we are facing next. Glenn Tucker. Man, I don't want to face these smaller opponents. I really do not want to. Hold on a second. Let me let me go back and see and see who. Let's take a look at this the, the fighter they want me to rip. They want me to replace Baldwin Darrell. Him, right there, ranked 22. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Let's compare. 81, he's he's high up there, man. He's high up there. Let's take a look at the stats. This dude is high up there. Wow. He's got basically everything going for him except head movement. We're basically equal there. But everything else, he's got me beat. Okay, let's take a look at the, um, I got him beat right there. Endurance, he's pretty good with the, with, with the endurance. His speed is, is pretty decent. I'm stronger. He's still gonna get KO'd, though. He's still gonna get KO'd. It's just, that's it. It's only a matter of time. All of these, every single last one of them will be KO'd. We're going back to Detroit. Let's go ahead and book training. I'm gonna train. And once the fight starts, I will be right back. I think I think this one's going to be the last fight I'm going to do for this episode. We'll see. Depending on how quickly the fight is, be right back with you guys shortly. Good evening, everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of light heavyweight action. 
This should be a good one tonight. Both fighters say they are primed, coming off a very intense and passionate training camp. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. All right, here we go. Opening three minutes of this 10-round fight. Check out those Nike boots. Silva's a real treat for these fans. A pure knockout artist. Every single fight of his career has ended with his hand raised and his opponent down and out. Now, every one of his fights is like a fire throw. I mean, the bell goes off. And bang, he's rushing to that fire. What's well, to start the fire? Come on, kid. He's a uh, Good shot counter puncher. With that right hand. He's a counter puncher, and something tells me he might end up being my Watch toughest opponent. Punch. We'll see. We got 10 rounds to finish him. Silva's and I will. power is dynamic. Truly dynamic. The kind of stuff that could end this fight early on. Yeah, it is. But see that? Yep. There's a danger to that, too. If he doesn't land early on, if he doesn't have his way early on, maybe I have he gets to make to sure start. that I am being technical. 90 seconds to go here in this round. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Dude is really patient. Straight left hand. Keep working the butt. Again. Ten seconds remaining in this round. His stamina is pretty damn good at this Silva's point. He barely did anything. There we go. All the way the up. Round. He recovered all the way. Here we go. Round two is underway. Damn. And now just wasting away that some one pretty time well. with that clinch. Come they on, trade shots. Come he comes back with a right hand. Showing you some defense there with the block. There's a good right hand. It was only a matter of time before we ran into someone like this. Little head hunting with the left. So right from the start in this fight, he's committed to the body shots. A right there. Left hand by the greatest. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's solid. Bam. There we he go. Goes up top and gets to him. The head. Cannot deal with the power. Oh my god. Let's just keep it methodical like that. I believe that's going to lead us to the KO. Two, three, four, five, six. So he goes down, but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving. But if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Effective with that one-two. Breaking through that freaking guard. Victory so far that little forearm career. block that he's doing means I have to go high and low. That's basically what that means. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Nothing there. Okay. Nice work, kid. 
Good job at that. Good job. Round. What do you mean, good job? He got dropped. Considering the fact that in the last round, he got tagged hard. He looks great right now to open up this round. Well, I'm not shocked because I think he has character. All right, let's push a little bit. And the only way that you find push, but maintain a kick and range. When you test him, when you push See if we can open him up a little bit. And he's being tested now, and he's showing what he's made of. Right there. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. There we go. Oh, what an uppercut. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. He's clinching a lot here, Teddy. Now, do you think that's the best way to deal with the after effects of the knockdown? Yeah, as long as you're not reaching, as long as you're not overextending yourself to grab the guy, because then you could leave yourself open, and then you're going to well, you're going to be on the floor again. Two snapping jabs by Silva. Son of a bitch. The greatest is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Right that there. was a left hand that came. Look at that. Whew. He goes down. Man, I robbed that dude and he did a good job of holding. Because when you do that, when you hold, when you hold, you're able to cause a very little break in action. And you can kind of get away and recover from there. But I think he's done. He might be done. Yeah, he's done. Wow. And it's all over. The greatest his opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. So much for my toughest opponent. So much for my toughest opponent. That one, homeboy did not even last a, a, at all. He didn't last at all. We got him out of there. That's exactly what I was hoping to do. Beautiful. Hey, there's a lot of it. Alrighty, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Means a lot. Hold on a second. Let's take a look at what, what he's... uh. There we go. You're too good for the champ. I figured that would happen. You win a couple of fights and now you think you're too good to spar with a champ. This could have been your moment. But instead, you got to act like a punk. Next time, just do us a favor and don't waste anyone's time accepting an invite. Get out of here. Get out of here. I am too good for the champ. I said that before. I'll say it again. I'm coming for that belt. All I ask is that he remains champion, because when I get up there, when I get up there, he's going to get obliterated. It's going to happen. That dude right there, Clement Medina, he's done. He's fucked. He's screwed. He's completely fucked. He has no idea what's coming. A storm is coming, and he's going to feel it. He's going to feel it. Anyways, I'm done. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you are enjoying this as much as I am enjoying making it. And I will see you guys in the next one. As always, keep yourself safe, and have a fantastic day.